Hey, what is going on guys? Big up to the 7 from Dwarf Prospect that's coming at you with another video. And in this one, we are going to go over some, some Metal Gear Survive. Um, I got a chance to play the beta. I played it for all days. Uh, actually, most of the days. Um, I couldn't, what is it called, post yesterday. What happened yesterday? Something happened yesterday. I don't remember what. But, oh no, I just wasn't home all day yesterday, so I just didn't post. And so, yeah, this is going to be like a little late tonight with this video, but I just wanted to show off um, the Survive beta and whatnot. I recorded with a bunch of my friends, like we just played, and this video is just one of my friends, but um, I just want to talk about it and whatnot, because it's getting a lot of hate. And like, I can see like the pros and cons of it, honestly, and the one thing that really, really bothered me is that it's just a rehash of um, Metal Gear Solid V. Like, they didn't really do anything except add um, a new enemy. And the, it, it's really cool. I think the game is cool. Like, yeah, like zombies are overdone and whatnot. But I think the game itself, if done right, like, I like the resource management and all that other stuff. Like, it, I think it's really fun, personally, because I was playing for hours. Um, I actually hit uh, 300 in the world. I was, I was pretty happy about that. I was trying to go for 100, and I'm just like, I can't do this. Like, I, I literally was just playing, like, way too much. I'm like, I just physically cannot do this anymore but yeah it was it was it's a lot of fun and here you can like see me doing some fucking crazy cqc shit like that's one of the abilities that you can get um i just i just think that the first time i played i, I did a solo i did two solo missions by myself and i was like this is terrible i honestly thought it was a terrible experience when i played by myself playing with random people like some online matchmaking and whatnot that's that's okay if everyone has a microphone, but if they don't, it gets really annoying, and like some people are just there just to troll and whatnot. And that kind of takes away from the experience. But when it comes to um, like let's say you get like you and three other friends to play this game, wow, it is an experience. Honestly, it is so fun. I can I cannot lie. It is so so fun when you have a full squad of four people and everyone is just like communicating and doing everything like you guys are like, putting up tur like turrets and like watchtowers and whatnot like sending mortars out there was um i didn't record it i it was um we were doing the daily and um it was the first time i hit s rank on the daily because the daily was impossible like in order to do the certain things like you have to speed up the generator and whatnot and to get s rank you get uh, like it was 300,000 iris, and iris is basically the thing that, um, that worm digger, the wormhole digger thing collects in the, the story that is occurring, I guess, I really have no idea about this, and I was like, oh my god, like, I was doing it for hours, I was like, trying to get S-rank for so long, and I got S-rank, and I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome, so, but once we hit S-rank, I was like, well, we have plenty of energy left, like, we could fucking summon something, and so I was like, it, it said, like, heavy, um, artillery unit and I was like oh I wonder what the hell a heavy artillery unit is and so like I summon it and then all I see is just like, explosions and whatnot and then I look up and I see Metal Gear Ray and I was like I literally was shitting my pants I was like this is actually awesome seeing like that you could summon a Metal Gear to help you out fight these things is to me that was that was the coolest thing that I witnessed I, I might have had it on DVR on my Xbox and if I do I'll literally post a video of that, it was like a three minute video or something, of just that, because it was just that awesome, and th like like I said before, the game itself is just a rehash of Metal Gear Solid 5, with like you just make your own character and then you just have all the survival shit with like a couple pals, and it's just, one person I was playing with mentioned how it just feels like Resident Evil, like the new Resident Evil is just an open world. And in a sense, they're kind of right. The way I see it is more of, like, Resident Evil met Fallout 4 and, like, H1Z1, honestly. Or just something like that, like, just around those types of games. Because it, it just, it just doesn't feel, like, original. Like, yeah, baseball thing. It, it, actually, you know what? Fortnite. Fortnite. That, the Fortnite on the PC? Absolutely. I think it, like this is exactly what Fortnite is. It's it's like you have one thing that's researching and you get waves and you have to build up around it. it like I ju that just came to me. Like it just it's literally Fortnite. And and that's so interesting how games nowadays are just not not being very like original and whatnot. 
I mean, there is there any more originality in games? Because, like, so much was done. And any game that's trying to be original gets fucking shut down. So, like, because it's like, oh, it's all about the money. But to me, this is not a a full price game. I do not believe in any way, shape, or form this is a full price game. I don't think it should be a full price game. I would say $30, $40 at most. That That's this type of game. Because it's not, it, it feels like an add-on. Honestly, it just feels like an add-on. I mean, I'm not, you're not doing anything other than surviving. And, like, yeah, there are different enemies, like, a couple, and, like, the game's hard as hell, honestly. Like, it's... Like, I was a maxed-out character with, like, just recently. Like, I just got all the rare gear and whatnot. I fucking maxed out everything. Like, here you see I have, like, a fucking survival bow, and the other one I have fucking have a composite bow that does 800 damage. And I still get one hit. I literally will get, like, one shot by these zombies. It, it's absurd. And also, it makes no sense why they would say that the daily is normal when the zombies one hit you. It, it's not normal at all. It's it is absurdly hard. They send so much at you, and they expect you to handle it properly. Like th there is no amount of barricades you could put up that will stop these zombies. There is nothing. I mean, they are not dumb. They they are not dumb at all. I'm I'm being completely honest. They are. Like, their senses and whatnot are just at a whole nother level. And I like that. I, I really do enjoy, like, the zombies being difficult and whatnot. I really do enjoy, I guess, the learning curve. Because when you're playing with new people, like, who haven't played Metal Gear and whatnot, like, this is really, really learning curve. And it even took me a while to understand that we all share resources and whatnot. We all have to contribute. And a lot of people are, like, when, when they joined, um, they were very, like, solo about it. And, like, they, they just, like, overcraft, like, that's the thing, you can't overcraft one thing, like, you can't, because you have to remember that you share resources with people, and some people just didn't understand that, like, or they just didn't want to accept the fact that, like, oh, I have to share with someone, like, it's just not right, like, I want my own resources, but it's just, like, in order to win, you have to, what is it called, be cooperative, honestly, and I, and I really, really like that, I like the whole cooperative, um, feel of this game, where it's, like, you, you can't, win if you don't help like if you don't build up and whatnot like if you're honestly not going to um what it like fucking if you're not going to help your team out then don't play co-op honestly like there is absolutely no point in even attempting because it's just absolutely broken then because then it's going to be three people trying to survive while one person's just doing a bunch of bs and I actually failed the mission like that. One person would just, because you can get walkers and whatnot, and uh, like run around with them, but they are very limited. They, you can only get two walkers, and like they only last for so long if you keep using them. And this one person was just like, I guess thought like it would be a smart idea to go where the enemy spawn and just lurk around there and start shooting them and whatnot, but not be at the base where the rest of the enemies, because they spawn from all different directions. And once you hit once you get the walker, it's wave two, the end of wave two. You you get the walkers. And then it goes to wave three. And wave three, they come from every angle. Like, on every map, they literally come from every angle. So you have to completely surround yourself. And this person was just like, no, you know, I'm just gonna be at like like this one area. And then and we're just getting destroyed and this person just doesn't even care, honestly. And and, and we lose. And we don't get good loot when you you don't get rare stuff when you lose. You you're guaranteed rares if you completely pass no matter what your ranking is you're guaranteed a rare if you play on the like the daily or the harder mission you're guaranteed a rare like jesus christ is that is it really that tough just to cooperate with people and i feel like that that's the problem with a lot of multiplayer games now how it's kind of like branched off like the like the cooperative feel like even with mmos now like no one wants to be cooperative like, no one want, like, everyone just wants a solo and whatnot, like, that's, that's not what an MMO is, though. Like, it's, it's a multiplayer game, like, it should force you to, to be cooperative, like, even if you don't want to be, like, you're playing this online with people, like, why wouldn't you just play solo, then, like, that's what I don't get. And it just kind of ruins the experience for some people, like, I, it definitely ruined it for me, I'm gonna be honest, like, I really do have a lot of fun, like, being cooperative, talking to people, and, like, doing call-outs and, like, doing all that crazy shit. Like, I think it's so fun to do call-outs and be like, 
oh shit, like, like, yo, we got like a boomer over here, like, oh man, like a tracker's in the fucking base, yo, we gotta take care of him, like, I love that, and that adds to, like, the experiences, because you remember that stuff, like, a lot of people say, like, yeah, the game sucks, like, it's just really bland, it's really repetitive, yeah, absolutely it is, it, it really is repetitive, but the thing is that it's okay if it's repetitive, if you're having fun with it, and that's that's a problem that a lot of games are having. Like, you're you're guaranteed to get good stuff, 100%. You're guaranteed to get good stuff if you cooperate and do well on the missions. You only can do well on the missions if you cooperate, and that's the thing. Like, that's the problem that I have with like Destiny and whatnot. Like, yeah, you can cooperate all you want, but you're not going to get good stuff. Like, this game guarantees it. Like, you're going to get good stuff. Like, it even tells you. It literally tells you. Like, like oh, you, you get this rank. Like, you're going to get this gear. Like, if you get S rank, you get a rare weapon. You get a, It literally tells you. You get a rare weapon, a rare equi like piece of equipment, rare items, and you get a rare, um, uh, what is it called? Like a, like a turret or like a wall barricade or something like that. Those are guaranteed if you get an S rank. And if you get an A rank, you don't get the rare weapon, but you get all the other rare stuff. And I really, really enjoy that about this game. Honestly, 100%. But it is lacking. It is just a rehash of Metal Gear Solid 5 with zombies added to it. And that's really it. Honestly. Nothing too crazy. But um, that's it for this video, guys. I really do hope everyone enjoyed. Like, subscribe to you guys the best. And uh, stay frosty, everyone. I'm out of this one, guys. Bye!